Some really exciting stuff seems to be percolating around the Switch 2. One of them really dealing with a brand new game announced directly for the platform, which to me is just utterly wild. And even a Nintendo employee drawing attention to it and then deleting the evidence. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that's pretty mysterious. But more than that, there is a shareholder, a supposed shareholder for Nintendo, throwing a little smoke out there about a reveal happening maybe as soon as next week. Uh, this is some pretty wild stuff, and I'm really excited to dive into it. Uh, some of this is obviously just direct factual information. You know, the shareholder stuff will probably call more of a rumor, but oh man, I'm so excited, everyone. I love talking about Nintendo Switch 2. It makes me so excited. If you're as excited for this platform as I am and want to stay up to date on all the latest rumors, leaks, speculation, and discussion around it, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel as we're on our road to 140,000 subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right in because Slaytonic, aka Playtonic Games, put this out. And we're gonna show a little bit of the trailer here in a moment, because there's a trailer for Yuka Replay. -y. Uh, but it says, as well as PC, Yuka Le Replay -y will be on PS5, Xbox Series, and Nintendo. And it does the little, you know, eyes that are kind of like the shifty eye thing. But watch this part of the trailer where the eyes themselves get a little shifty. Right there, look at that. They bounce on over to Nintendo, and they're kind of looking around all mysterious you can't tell me that this shifty eye business this shifty eye business isn't about the switch too uh and here's the thing there's actually some more evidence supporting this uh there was well or is a marketing manager out of nintendo uk and this marketing manager did this so it's been screenshotted by several people including this kb uh Kerr pink furry person uh neil flynn Neil Flynn also responded to the Playtonic Games thing with the same shifty eyes that are being used to describe Nintendo. Now, the interesting part about this is obviously this post was deleted. Uh, it deleted pretty quickly, too. You had to be quick on your gun to find it, but it did happen. We have multiple confirmations that Neil Flynn, the marketing manager for Nintendo UK, did indeed do that now if we just take a look at the general trailer here and talk for a moment what i want to throw out there for what yuka replay -y, as someone who really enjoyed ukulele and uh even that side scrolling version they did both are really really good in fact a lot of people think the side scrolling version is even better i look at this under two lights one there's something we know about indie developers and the nintendo switch 2 and that is that they were being invited to nintendo hq not too long ago probably over the span of about six to eight weeks and we know this because limited run game ceo confirmed a rumor slash report that people were being brought into nintendo hq in redmond washington to be shown something we don't know what that something is we presume it was switch 2 because why else would you be flying in game developers to your headquarters? But it is pretty fascinating to think about, well, hey, Playtonic Games is probably one of those developers, and after they got to go hands-on and try out the Switch 2, they probably were allowed to then take the Switch 2 and bring it on over to, well, themselves, like be able to order the Switch 2 and have dev kits and all that. And the thing about this game, it's announced for PC, PS5 and Xbox Series. Notably, that is not the PlayStation 4. That is not the Xbox One. So they're only bringing Yuka Replay to the current generation platforms besides Switch. And well, Nintendo Switch 2 just isn't as powerful as the other platforms. So I do find all of this to be really, really interesting. I clearly believe that Yuka Replay is coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And there's multiple ways to look at this. Obviously the initial thing that the one takeaway we 100% know for sure, Yuka Replay is coming to Switch 2. This is a Nintendo Switch 2 game. That is awesome. That is exciting. And I love these developers. They're former Rare developers that made things like Banjo Kazooie and Tui, which by the way, shout out to Banjo Tui, dropped on the NSO last night. Pretty awesome. Uh, but I am also taking this in another direction because some people think, well, if they're no longer waiting, if companies are no longer waiting for Nintendo to put out the Nintendo Switch 2 trailer, they're just going to start dropping Nintendo logos in their trailer, then... Oh boy, uh, could that mean it's being revealed relatively soon? Because if dev kits are now going out to indie developers, 
leaks from those dev kits are just sort of inevitable when the wrong indie developer, and I say wrong for Nintendo, gets their hands on one. Well, we have some further evidence to suggest there could be something relatively soon coming from somebody over on Fami Boards. Now, this is a rumor, but it comes from this guy called Shareholder Chad, who subtitle there says he's a current Nintendo shareholder. Now, nobody seems to refute that he's an actual shareholder. And if you pay attention to a lot of his posts, he does talk a lot about finances and at one point having dual citizenship and all this other stuff for financial purposes. So uh, shareholder chat is probably a current Nintendo shareholder and one holding the shares in Japan rather than obviously the ones that you can buy here in the US. There is a difference between those shares. Anyways, uh, this guy, you know, this Zamoras or whatever said more reason why exactly I kind of missed the last few hours. Shareholder Chad comes in and says, one of the things that made me doubt 2024 was simply it was too quiet. Insiders weren't hearing much. You're talking about like Brazil, Nate the Hate, etc. And I wasn't hearing anything in my own investor slash financial circles, which traditionally has always happened, even if it was incorrect partially or in its entirety. It's, it's right about 60% to 70% of the time. So when basically there is smoke with the financial space and uh, traders and, and, and investors, uh, that smoke is often really like happens, right? Like it, it's not something that's just a bunch of bullshit. Although sometimes it's wrong, of course, because if it wasn't wrong, sometimes there wouldn't be any risk in investing. All right, but it says before a major product announcement and release. All of that changed this morning, and this was yesterday. So yesterday morning, Thursday morning, bullshit or not, chatter before an announcement, in my opinion, is a requirement. So what he is saying, according to everything he has followed as a shareholder of Nintendo, is, look, a reveal doesn't happen if there isn't any chatter in the financial space. There is, as of yesterday morning, according to shareholder Chad, industry chatter among investors on nintendo switch 2 being revealed relatively soon that is pretty exciting now again a rumor i'm pretty confident shareholder chat is actually a nintendo shareholder to be fair any of us can be just go buy one share in nintendo but he seems to be someone that holds you know a bit more than one chair. He is a little bit more invested into this he is in the financial space people in that space that would obviously make money uh so this is this is to me just more sort of circumstantial yet kind of interesting evidence that some smoke is starting to just come up out of the cracks, out of the financial space that the expectation of a Switch 2 reveal is around the corner. Now, we haven't seen Nintendo's shares take like a major jump, which sometimes happens when uh, expectations on something new being revealed is coming. Uh, this happened earlier this year when, you know, there was supposedly all these reports and rumors around it being revealed in March. So we saw the shares kind of overly inflate. And then when the delay news came out, down they went and they kind of crashed a little bit. Say crashed. Nintendo shares are still pretty healthy. Uh, but here's the thing. People were asking him at some point in the thread, hey, shouldn't there be like a $1 jump in the shares or something if that's an expectation? And he said, yeah, the time for that's probably passed. That would have happened, you know, if the reveal was being speculated about and had uh, smoke in the financial space for months, then yeah, you'd probably see that jump. But since the smoke just started happening and it just started happening for something really soon, that in the end, uh, you wouldn't see a $1 jump like that. There's going to be some cautiousness around that as well because of the last time the smoke was happening. So uh, this to me, is just good news and good evidence on a potential Nintendo Switch 2 uh, statement reveal, some sort of news regarding it. Now, I want to remind you guys that it is possible, and I don't know if it likely is the word, but possible that Nintendo's news, their announcement about Switch 2 actually happens at or immediately after the financial brief on the 5th. Think about things that they've actually announced at the financial brief. The Zelda movie. The Zelda movie was announced at one of these financial briefs, one of these financial meetings, these Q, these Q and A, they announced the Zelda movie there. So we can't pretend that it's not possible that our first real mention of Switch Two could be at this meeting, whether they announce a code name, when they're dropping a trailer for, or whether they use this to have a trailer that they also end up posting over on social media. So it is possible that they do a reveal at this, and that's why financial people are hearing that, oh man, something's happening with Nintendo and their next platform. So that could be the case. It could also just be it's being revealed next week or being revealed in the, in the few days leading up to uh, November 5th. I don't know, guys. I'm obviously just sitting here, not really in the know. Next week's kind of it, right, for like a 
public sort of uh, style reveal that they did with uh, the Nintendo Switch back on October 20th of 2016. Uh, once we get past next week, it really does feel unlikely that we're going to have something like that. Uh, again, November 5th is the last possible day. I'm going to Team 2025 after that. But for now... I'm happy that we're getting to the end of this week and there's a little smoke out there. It might be a rumor, but a little bit of smoke. Combine that with a little bit of ukulele, or in this case, yuka replay hype. Combine this with the marketing manager for Nintendo UK dropping the eyeballs, but then having to rescind them fairly quickly. Oh, my hype is rising! It's rising up! And of course, the Milwaukee Bucks played tonight. Uh, so shout out to my Bucks. Uh, and I want to end this video a little bit more of a somber note. Check in on your loved ones, please. Friends, family, acquaintances, check on them, please. Can't stress this enough. Uh, the news is already out there. Uh, we lost someone, um, a longtime family friend, uh, quite recently to an unfortunate event, uh, that I don't really want to go into the details because it's still pretty fresh. It just happened yesterday, but, uh, Make sure you check on your loved ones and, and, and make sure they're where, where they are in their mental state and everything's okay. And uh, it, sometimes you just, it, just that reaching out could save a life. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.